Natural Convection Sample Problem Number 7 So for this problem, we are given with a, a cylindrical pipe which is 6 meter long and the diameter of the pipe is 8 cm Hot water passes through the pipe through a large room whose temperature is 20 degree Celsius if the outer surface temperature of the pipe is 70 degrees Celsius, determine the rate of heat loss from the pipe by natural convection. So these are our assumptions. So we are operating with a steady state conditions. We consider gas, air as an ideal gas, and then the local atmospheric pressure is 1 atm. So we will evaluate the properties as always at the film temperature. For this case, that is the sum of the surface temperature and the fluid temperature divided by 2. So our film temperature is 45 degrees Celsius. And we will look at the table A15. So at 45 degrees Celsius, so we look at the value for K at the table. As you can see in the table, at 45 degrees Celsius, the value of K is 0 0.02699. The value of uh, kinematic viscosity is 1.75 times 10 to negative 5. The Prandtl number is 0 0.7241 and the value of the specific heat. So we will only use the value of K, PR, and V. So we will also have to compute for the coefficient of volume expansion. So, beta. So, denoted by this symbol, which is just the reciprocal of the fluid temperature in Kelvin. So, that's why four ha we added 273.15. And then, that's why we have 1 over 318.15 Kelvin. So, for our coefficient of volume expansion. So, the rate of heat loss from the pipe by natural convection can be solved using our formula for convection. So that is the coefficient of convection times the surface area and then the difference of the surface temperature and the fluid temperature. So for the surface area, we are referring to the surface area of the cylinder and that is equals to pi, the diameter times the length. So that's why our surface area is 1.508 meters squared. So solving for H, so our H is can be solved using the nozzle number so just like how we do it in the previous examples so our h is just k over d times the, the nozzle number so we need to solve for the nozzle number so that we can get h and then substitute all the values that we have to the equation for q so that we can get the rate of heat loss from this pipe by natural convection. So solving H uh, by first we need to solve the nozzle number. So if we are going to look at the profile, this is a cylindrical pipe, horizontal cylindrical pipe. So this is a horizontal cylindrical pipe. So if we are going to look at the table and slide number 76, so we will look for the type of geometry that we have so if you're going to look at it the type of geometry is actually this one so we have a horizontal pipe our horizontal cylinder so our characteristics length LC is equals to the diameter of this pipe and then the radial num the Rayleigh number should be uh, less than 10 to the power of 12 so the formula for the nozzle number is this equation in 9 dash 25 so that is why upon using that equation in uh, equation 925 in our table so we will use this equation for the nozzle number so as you can see we need to solve first for the Riley number we already have the Prandtl number uh, as one of our properties so we need to solve for the Riley number so if we are going to look back the formula for the Riley number in slide number 74. So this is how we solve for the Riley number. So the Riley number is the product of the Grashoff and the Prandtl numbers. 
So if you're going to evaluate, so this is the formula for Riley number. So we have here gravity, the volumetric expansion coefficient, and then the characteristic link, length, the PR, and then the V, the viscosity. So going back, we can we we will solve first for the Riley number. So if we are going to look at the table, our characteristic length should be equal to D. So that's 0 0.08 meter. So you can look at table in slide number 76, equation 9-25. So the Riley number becomes this one. So our L, the characteristic length will become D. So this is for horizontal pipe. So substituting all the values that we have, why we have this particular equation. So Substituting the value, so our g is 9.81 meter per second squared, the acceleration due to gravity. So we have our volumetric coefficient of expansion, the difference between the temperatures, Ts minus T infinity, fluid temperature. Then we have our characteristic length, which is equal to the diameter cube divided by the viscosity squared. So our Rayleigh number is 1.87 times 10 to the power of 7. So we substitute this value in the Nusselt number so we can solve for the Nusselt number. So substituting, so our Nusselt number is so substituting all the values for the Riley number and then the Prandtl number from the properties, we can get the Nusselt number to be 17.4. And then finally, going back to our equation for the convection coefficient, which is H uh, convection coefficient. So, which is K over D times the Nusselt number. So, we have our conviction coefficient as 5.87 watts per meter squared Kelvin. And then finally, going back to our equation, working equation for the heat loss by natural convection, we can get our heat loss as 442.6 watts.